What's up guys, in the works, and welcome to a Battlefield 3 showdown recap. Yes, you heard me right, a recap. We're not going to be actually pitting two weapons against each other today. Rather, I'm going to be talking about past winners and some ideas for the future coming up here. Uh, because we, this is going to be technically the 38th episode of the Battlefield 3 showdown. And it's getting towards the end of Battlefield 3. It's been out for over a year now. And we've seen a lot of the weapons. We know how a lot of the weapons work. We've gotten new weapons along the way. But I wanted to talk to you guys about some ideas I have going forward for a, kind of a, a really cool thing that will really get you guys involved in picking which showdowns come next. Now, I'll get into that later on in the video. But like I said, we've done a lot of episodes. And I kind of want to go back, recap some of the... the uh, episodes that kind of stood out to me talk about the winners um, that way you can get an idea whether or not we've done them I'm going to link the show page for Battlefield 3 Showdown in the description though you guys need to go and check that before you vote at the end I'll talk about what we're going to be voting on towards the end but go in check that you know look at who won go back through some of them because there's a lot of episodes 38 episodes is a lot of showdown so but when I first started the showdown, my idea was basically to give you guys an idea of which I prefer in what situation. Because a lot of you guys have been asking me, you know, okay, what do I like better, this or that? And I was like, well, what if I did a series that kind of talked about why I like another weapon over it? And it kind of evolved into getting your guys' feedback, getting your opinion on the matter. And that's when I started to integrate the Facebook polls and stuff like that. So we started the showdown with actually the F2000 versus the FAMAS. And this is right around when Carcan dropped when I started this. And the FAMAS was super powerful. But the F2000 actually ended up winning that series, because back then a lot of people still relied on the F2000. So, for the first episode, the F2000 was actually our first ever winner. After that, we had the G36 and the A91, two weapons which I thought got a lot more usage back in those days, but, but you don't really see them used that much these days, but the G36 did take the cake on that. So then we got into some more interesting showdowns. We did the L96 versus the M40, and we've actually done the all the bolt actions versus the M98B, so like the SV98, the M40, the L96. I kind of lumped those together versus the M98B uh, and did a showdown with that. So we've done those weapons multiple times. Um, and then we did the M16 versus M416, and we've actually done that one twice, and it was kind of kind of funny to look at because the results, even though the M416 got patched, the results of the first episode and the second episode were very, very similar, and that actually surprised me a lot. Now, okay, getting into some more important showdowns I don't want to sit here and ramble on was the Rex versus the Magnum, and this was before any patches, guys. And this is actually one of the most view show, viewed showdowns there is. It's one of the most popular, and a lot of people have wanted me to revisit this one. So if you guys want to vote on the Rex versus the Magnum, you'll have the opportunity at the end of the video. But the showdown was interesting to me because there were two revolvers. And at the time, I didn't see a lot of people use the Rex, and I wanted to talk about some of the advantages of it. And it turned out that most people ended up liking the Magnum. So uh, the Magnum did end up winning that. So let's get going here. We're kind of rambling on again. Um, some of the more important showdowns that kind of stuck out in my mind that a lot of people don't know we've done is the A94 versus the Cage 2002. That was another really popular one to do, and the AN94 destroyed the Cage 2002. So for the Assault Kit, that thing was victorious. So moving on, you know, we did a lot of different random showdowns in there in Season 1. I moved on to Season 2 because that was after that first big patch dropped, and I thought that we might as well start the second season because at that point, a lot of weapons had changed. And one of the ones that really stood out to me in that season was the F2000 versus the AEK. Two close quarters weapons, you know, one is a bullpup, one is a faster fire rate. And the AEK actually beat the F2000, and that was kind of like the changing of the guard to me. Because at the time, I, I had seen so many people rely on the F2000, that I was actually kind of surprised that the AEK was becoming more popular. And now you see tons and tons of people use the AEK, and it's just super, super popular. So there have been a lot of weapons that have made multiple appearances in the showdown. The Scar L, which we did last week, actually has appeared in the showdown three times, even though it's only been out since June. Um, it's funny because it's struggled in each of the showdowns it's done, so I think it's safe to say we can finally retire any more Scar L showdowns. I mean, it's done the AUG versus Scar L, the L85 versus Scar L, and the AK-74M versus the Scar L. And it seems like every time the Scar L gets defeated, but... Um, some funny things is, is the first LMGs we ever did, we did the M249 versus the 240 Bravo, and the 249 actually destroyed the 240 Bravo, but I'd actually be shocked if that happened again. I bet you if we redid that showdown, I bet you the, uh, the 240 Bravo would do a lot better because it has gotten a substantial boost since the patches. Um, so there's been a lot of showdowns we've done out there that have been 
been very interesting to me like the way they've kind of kind of played out like when we did the USAS versus the MK3A1 the MK3A1 actually won that showdown because everybody hates the USAS and I was I was like come on guys I mean MK3A1 is there's no way the Mark III or whatever is as good as the USAS so um, it was kind of funny to me that that actually ended up winning and we've done most of the shotguns you know we've done the 870 versus the uh, M1014 we've done the SPAS versus the 870 so we've done all the sh all the shotguns at this point other than like the Dow and the Saiga 12 gauge because those aren't really I don't know I just don't really think that that would be a very good showdown because people hate the semi-auto shotguns um, but moving on you know we've done a lot of the support weapons at this point you know we did a lot we did all the close quarters weapons when it first came out except the J and G 90 um, so each weapon seems to have had its fair shake and that's when I kind of moved into the fourth or the third season and this is where things started to slow down a little bit because I started to run out of ideas. You know, we did the SKS versus the M417. Um, M417 actually beat the SKS, even though I think that it was a pretty close race. Um, you know, like I said, last week we did the AK-74M versus the SCAR-L, and that was a very interesting showdown because the AK-74M actually won, in case you were wondering what would the results of last week were. So we've done a lot of the weapons that you guys request. So at this point, you know, I've rambled on about past winners. I want you guys to go back in, look through the showdowns, make up your mind, and I'm going to put four Facebook polls in the description. Essentially, those links will contain a list of weapons in a poll, which you can then vote on. And I'm going to take the top two weapons from each class, Engineering, Recon, Support, and Assault. I'm going to take the top two weapons and pit them against each other for the next four weeks. So I think this will be a lot of fun. It will give you guys an opportunity to come together, you know, try to persuade each other to vote on the weapons that you want to see face off. Um, I'm going to exclude some weapons that I think have been in the Facebook poll too much, you know, like the M16, the M416, even the SCAR-L. Uh, maybe in the recon kit I'll pull out the M98B since we've already seen that or perhaps I'll leave it in there because you never know you might want to see that face off against the J and G90 but I think this will be a lot of fun because it'll give the opportunity for you guys to have the say in the next four weeks of showdowns uh, then we can do a video on each you know go in look at some of the details of each weapon then you guys can come back together vote on that weapon and we'll see which one really is truly the best weapon in each class obviously the M416 and the M16 won't have a chance um, but we already know those are probably the best two assault rifles right now. But I think this will be a lot of fun. It will give you guys an opportunity to mix things up a little bit. It will give me an opportunity to put a fresh spin on the showdown. And, you know, who knows? We might learn a, th a thing or two along the way. So go back through, look at the past showdowns, get an idea of what you might like to see. Um, like I said, I'd like to see some new ones. But if you guys vote on some rematches, by all means. But I look forward to seeing your guys' votes. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.